Welcome to another edition of Down to the Wire in an attempt to mix things up a little bit. Again, like I've said before, we don't need to talk to those old tra dra driver trainers all the time either. So today I'd like to welcome Shay Polloway. Uh, the backbone of this whole, any backstretch in, across the world is always the grooms. They don't get enough credit and I'd like to say welcome to the show. Oh, thank you very much. You know, it's really great to actually talk about how I've been brought up in the industry. And uh, yeah, no, so far I've been helping out a bit of everyone, trying to really hand, lend a helping hand wherever I can. Um, I am not afraid of doing a couple stalls and getting paid to work out, that's for sure. So I start my morning off, I get here about 5.45, feed the horses, run over to Tim Hortons when they open at 6 a.m., which is ridiculous, but it's what it is. And uh, <laughs> we come back here, I do about 10 stalls and then we start jogging horses. Andrew and I, we get about 10 horses done together for Jim Marino. And then I head over to Clint Warrington's barn where he's been really helping me out and teaching me so much. Um, he's fantastic. He worked for Stanley Dancer. So I, I definitely try to mentor him as much as possible. And, you know, I'm constantly learning. So that's that's oh, good. So you're actually, I think, a third generation, I'm going to yeah. say, horsewoman. Your grandfather still breeds horses. Your yes, dad is, uh, I guess, a part-time horseman now. He's got a, a real job, um, but he's out at Fraser Downs and then mm. has some horses on the side. Yeah. Um, do you ever have any aspirations of being a trainer driver, or is this where you're at right now? Yeah, absolutely. So um, this year, I would definitely like to get my trainers. I'm hoping to get a horse or two for myself and kind of work from there. Um, but I definitely want to keep learning, so the best thing to do is be in the barn and be hands-on. And, uh, you know, I'm never going to stop working hard at it, but I definitely want to be a trainer. This is what I want to accomplish this year. And um, maybe in a couple of years, start driving my own. I, you never know what's going to happen, but I definitely love it, and it's in my blood, right? So I just want to keep doing it. Well, when you told me at the beginning of the meet that you're doing 11 stalls, I have to give you a lot of credit. Uh, you've certainly tucked up, we'll call it that, <laughs> as well, and, uh, and the work uh, ethic has always been there. You've been uh, with, hooked up with Travis Tracy back when we were out in BC and, a, and always a w hard worker. I'm not so sure about your Uncle Darren, if I, would, <laughs> if I would throw him into that description, but at least you've taken it over for the rest of the, the Poloway name. Um, Andrew is uh, a new significant other, fairly. Yes, probably yeah I know he's great and he's definitely got me to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and travel around to other tracks um, that's I'm not too sure what we're gonna do after this meet here um, but he's been great we currently take care of 11 horses together and uh, they've all been racing fantastic you know we ha seem to have a really good schedule and uh, program and I really I'm really happy with how everybody's been doing. So out of those 11, what is your, what's your favorite horse? Um, they all have to be favorites because, like I've said before, the grooms probably get paid the least. They're mm -hmm. seven days a week. It's yeah. all passion. If, if a horse is ever claimed, if a horse is ever uh, goes sore, I just feel so bad for the grooms because that's their pet. Yeah. What is your favorite horse out of those 11? Uh, comes home first would definitely have to be my favorite. Uh, he's just... He's a old timer, but he just makes me want to come to work every day. You know, he puts a smile on my face every morning, every time I feed him, you know. So he's one of those horses that make you really passionate about the business. And, the, you know, you want to be here for them, to support them, right? And they do a lot for us, and I, I never seem to uh, forget that. And I really appreciate all the horses we work with. You know, they... They try day in and day out, and it's mentally and physically straining for both of us. And so I think a really good understanding is, you know, we're on the same playing field. We're both trying to accomplish the same things. You know, I want him to win the race, but I want him to want to do it. And so I, I just love him as much as possible. And you know what? It, it pays off. So I'm, I'm really happy with how he is. So there's an example of the talk of the passion right there. So you can only imagine if Shay and Comes Home First got separated for whatever reason, that change in that tone and that excitement would really change. Mm -hmm. So he normally races on a Monday. So kind of walk me through it. What would happen with him and you from Tuesday to the following Monday? Yeah, so, you know, he's a 
one of those horses that loves to get out first thing in the morning he's looking at me like hey you know get me out first right and uh, it's hard because he he leads uh, Wrangler cash so we usually do him a little bit later on in the day and but he sits there and watches me constantly and uh, can't wait to get out I love taking him for walks and he just he's a real happy guy but I know he's getting into the later years in his career I'm not too sure exactly um, how much longer he's going to continue racing he's up against a lot of tough horses so um, it, it's definitely tougher for him he gets a lot of massages and a lot of hands-on time um, but overall like we don't don't do anything too too crazy just lots of walks and what day would he train? I'm assuming he sounds like if they get in every week, they don't have to train quite yeah. as hard as they used to. So he'd probably have a light training day on Thursday. Well, you know what? Actually, with him, like he he does like to grab on pretty good when he gets jogging. So we don't train him that much. Uh, it just helps keep. We just try to keep him relaxed and as calm as possible. Um, you know, which prevents tying up and stuff like that. So. You know, he doesn't actually train as much as some of the other horses would, um, but just because he, he does get going pretty good while he jogs, so he doesn't need to. <laughs> stays quite fit on his own. And, and they, uh, that's another part of your job is to find out those quirks and to let mm -hmm. the trainer know. I mean, Jim Marino is who you're working for. 